All right, I would like to show you how you can uh, create tangram pieces uh, to make your own puzzles in SketchUp. Um, here's an example I just made, uh, and I made the inside hollow uh, so that you can grab the pieces and manipulate them easier when after you 3D print them. Also, it shows the relationship between the size of these uh, pieces. For example, the area of this large triangle is um, four times that of the small triangle and the area of the other pieces like the parallelogram medium-sized triangle and the square are twice the size of the small triangle um, before you 3d print them you can actually use SketchUp um, and you manipulate them in SketchUp to learn about the tools to master the tools for example Let's say I want to turn this into a triangle. So how would I do that? So I selected these two large triangles and the rotation tool. So if I use that as my rotation point there, and I grab the other point, and 90 degrees turning this way will create my large triangle. So let's go back, and I'll show you how you can make your own uh, tangram pieces. We're going to move this to the side. So again, uh, maybe 200 millimeters to the side. Now, it's very easy to do. You need a square. All right. Depending on the size of your printer's build plate uh, or the, your desired size, uh, you can make that decision. So I'm going to make it 100 by 100 millimeters that's 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters so I type that in press enter and it's done now what you need to do is to cut this square diagonally and then cut the half which is another which is a triangle into two triangles like that to the midpoint we have to be careful because these two are congruent they have to be identical now um, from midpoint here you draw another line to the other sides midpoint at the bottom now this is your medium sized triangle and then this is the midpoint between this point and this corner so I can go parallel down parallel to this line also parallel to the green axis so here you're done and I'm gonna go here to there and from here midpoint to here so basically we have all our shapes but these are um, not uh, 3d they're just flat and I have to turn these into um, groups not components groups so select them make sure you select both the outline and the inside right click make group and do that um, you can color them at this point or later it doesn't matter so here you are make group do it quickly make group make group make group and two more done now I can go inside the, uh, the group and raise it so for example I can decide how thick the pieces should be so I can uh, raise that let's say by five millimeters that's half a centimeter I think that's large enough I can orbit it out this way a little bit that's much better and I can color these if I want so these are most commonly blue the large ones so here you are so uh, I can do this too so here we are Let's select that and make it blue. These two are identical. If you make one, you don't need to make the other one. Um, so select this, raise the band by five millimeters, or you can just use that as a reference. Uh, it tells you it's five millimeters. So select, select it. Sorry. 
So to select it, you just have to click, click, click until everything gets selected. I'm going to use maybe this color that's, again, the usual color they normally use to... Um, this one is, uh, the small triangle is red, so I'm going to again, do that. Again. So red, let's for the red. I think it's on the top. It is. Uh, yellow for the square. That's the most common color. You can color it now or later, it doesn't matter. Okay. Now, uh, so I have the medium uh, size triangle, and that is green. Okay, I'm gonna raise it. Or you can type it in, five enter. That's usually better, no guesswork. And this was supposed to be red. And raise that, because this is identical to that. So here. Yeah. Okay, done. Uh, if you click on them, see they're all solid. So they're all 3D printable. Obviously, um, you can't print them like this because they're stuck together. They get fused, so you have to separate them a little bit or print them separately. Or you can um, print uh, your large pieces together, uh, your, your uh, small pieces together, or specific pieces at the same time so you can color use different uh, colored fil filaments um, and so on okay um, that's that so we made our tangram pieces and they're all 3d printable they're all solids thank you so much for watching